Welcome Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for July 20th through the 26th. Gemini, it looks like you're coming in as the Queen of Swords, being strategic, not showing emotion. Uh, Gemini energy, um, making a head over heart decision to cut something out and move forward. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hello and welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. I just want to thank everyone who supports my channel by watching uh, my weekly videos, booking readings, and uh, keeping up with me on social media. I, I appreciate everyone's love and support. Um, just as a reminder, all the readings are general and they will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not your story. So take what resonates and leave the rest. I also want to give back to my amazing community uh, by giving two free three question readings away weekly. So just leave me a comment down below. Um, hashtag Quartz Rose Tarot Giveaway. Each week, I'll go through the comments, and I'll randomly pick two winners. If, um, if you're chosen, I will reply to your comment uh, that you've won. So please keep an eye out. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, all the information is listed in the description box below. I am looking forward to seeing all these wonderful comments. Good luck. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now stick around. Let's see where this goes. Gemini, you're starting off with the Queen of Swords, someone who's very strategic, not showing emotion. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, uh, making a head over heart decision here with the Two of Swords. She's going to cut something out, uh, take the blindfold off. There is something that's hidden. Uh, deception sitting right next to this card. So uh, you want to move forward. This is Cancer energy. Um, moving forward, this could be travel. You could be at a distance from somebody or you're just going to move on. So um, it looks like you have some Virgo energy here. Uh, the light has been shed on something. You're gone within and you're seeing the truth about something. You're going in deep about deception. So, so the light's been shed on the deception, the lying, the cheating, the stealing. It has to do with a lover, um, a choice between two with the lover's card. And you're walking away. You've got the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You have Virgo. You have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got Cancer. you got Gemini. Um, coming in strong, pretty strong in your reading here, Gemini. Um, you're walking away from the burden. You've got, you're, you're laying the wands down. You're, you're walking away from the burden here. Um, there could have been options, illusions, confusion with this and something that was very toxic with the devil card here this could be toxic obsession possession however it resonates with you um so take it how it resonates it can resonate in reverse you know uh there is no gender so the queen of swords could be the king of swords okay so i say queen because it's feminine energy we all have masculine and feminine energy um i i okay the center of your read gemini Strife, jealousy, competition with the five of wands. This is about a lot of drama. So some something that was toxic and a lot of drama, uh, maybe options um, that this person had. This was maybe a sexual addiction. I'm not seeing the ace of wands here, but, you know, this is a lot having a lot of options, something that's very toxic and causing a lot of competition and drama here. It's out in the cold. So you're just like dropping the burdens on this situation and and just leaving it alone, you're letting go. And you have the four of pentacles here. I'm not seeing this as holding on. I see this as holding back. Like you are holding back from this because you're walking away, dropping these burdens. And you're trying to recover. You know, this is about recovery rest. This is about, uh, you could be up in your, your head about a heartbreak. Um, but this is... To me, there's distance here. You have a couple cards of distance here, but this is about recovery. And in, under that, we have the star card Aquarius. This is about healing, hoping to heal. You know, this is, um, I'm getting the universe is divinely guiding you here with this, helping you heal through this. You're trying to see things from a different mindset with the uh, hanged man. 
you're taking time out, you're being patient, um, but you're really trying to get clear on things. You, you have two cards of that right here. And, and you're looking at the past, the mistakes that were made here with the Seven of Pentacles. The seeds that were planted, there, were, there was no equal give and take. You go from a seven to a six here with the Pentacles. So there was no equal give and take in here. There's a decline here. And it causes some kind of a tower moment for you. You're realizing something. You know, this, this realization causes the tower moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mercury's still in retrograde for cancer, and I'm a cancer. And uh, I can tell my voice is cracking here. So, uh, so this perspective that you gain here causes this tower moment. You're looking at the past. You're figuring things out. And you're making a decision. You're at a crossroads about this. You're, you're like, which direction do I want to go in now? You clearly have left the building here. There's two cards of you moving on and walking away um, and leaving something in the cold um, at a lack. But this is you making that decision. Now that you have walked away, which direction do I want to go in? What do I want to do? And you're taking a leap of faith. You're, you're jumping off that cliff. So you're not... You're not looking back. You're not looking back, Gemini. This is good. Okay, under the bottom of the deck, you have a new beginning of love and abundance coming towards you with the Ace of Pentacles, the best Ace you can get in the deck. And you want happiness here, the Sun card. So you're going to take a leap of faith to 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 uh, start over. This is a new beginning for you. This is definitely a new beginning. You're going to balance out something. Balance yourself. Find yourself. Center yourself. And, you know, balance a victory, you know, or could be balance your ego, could be balance your victory. Um, however, it resonates with you. You need to work on something with the, the uh, eight of pentacle, um, working on being single. You're going from the eight to the nine now. So you're going, you're going, you're going up now. You've got, you've got from, you're working on your, you're being single, you're being happy, single, being by yourself. You know, taking care of yourself. You have no problem being by yourself. You have everything but love here. Everything but love. And you're waiting. You're waiting for justice. So you you walked away from this, whatever this was, and you're waiting for justice for this. Yeah, because there's an ending here. There's an ending of anxiety and stress is what I'm getting. The ending of anxiety and stress and heartbreak in a family situation. It may have taken a long time for you to get where you're at, okay, but you are being divinely guided. You felt stuck and bound to something, but you're going to have that new beginning with a magician. So I'm going to leave it there. I could go the whole deck here, but, you know, just to re recap this for you, Gemini, it looks like you're walking away as the Queen of Swords. You're being very strategic here. Um, there was a choice. You're walking away. You're cutting something out. You're moving on. You found out something about deception with somebody who you, you know, could have been a soulmate. You're walking away from this burden. You're dropping the burdens. And whatever the options were, there was a lot of toxic drama here. There was a lot of, of uh, just a lot of fighting. I'm getting a lot of fighting. And it. it was a very toxic environment. And you left it out in the cold. You're holding back and you're trying to recover and heal yourself. You're, you're getting clear on what happened in the past, and you realize there was no equal give and take in this situation. So it was a bad relationship. Whatever this was, this was just a bad relationship all the way around. And, you know, this, you getting clear causes this tower moment. And you just decide that you're, you know, I'm better off by myself. I'm getting very strong. I'm better off by myself, taking a leap of faith, having a new beginning of love and abundance. So new love's coming towards you. Your happiness. Um, you're, you're wanting happiness and success. You want to balance out your, your victory. You, you know, your victory is that you may, you chose yourself. That's what the victory is. You chose you over all of this. You let go of anything that didn't serve your highest and best self. And, and you need to work on being single. You just need to be okay with being by yourself, you know, for the time being, you do have love and abundance coming towards you. Uh, so, you know, and you're waiting, you're waiting for justice. You know, you're ending the stress and anxiety and the broken heart 
in a family situation. So this was a bad, it was a bad either marriage or relationship. And you, you're, it may have taken a long time, but that stability is coming to you again. Okay. You are being divinely guided. Luck is on your side. You did feel stuck and bound. And, and now you're going to have this new beginning. You have all the tools you need for this new beginning. You have the wand, the cup, you have the pinnacle, and you have the sword. So you can have any new beginning that you want. So this is a pretty good read for you, Gemini. You know, I'm going to leave this here with you. And um, if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful week.